Hello there, this is Todd from the Scoundrels Cantina, and welcome to another video. In this video, we'll be going over all EA Star Wars Battlefront 2 clone military units. This means that we'll be going over all military units that were created for this game, as well as some which have been seen before in other sources, but finally given a name in Star Wars Battlefront 2. So anyway, let's do it. At number 1, we have the 87 Sentinel Corps, which were an infantry corps that consisted of 36,864 clone troopers, which were divided into 16 regiments of 2,304 troopers. Since they were never seen in Phase 1 clone trooper armor, we think that it's safe to say that it was most likely just plain white armor which most military units had during the first half of the Clone Wars. Nonetheless, when they attained Phase 2 clone trooper armor, they were distinguished from other units by various combinations of maroon markings on their white armor. As most clone military units, they were made up of regular clone troopers, heavy clone troopers, clone sharpshooters, and clone trooper officers. The 87th Sentinel Corps was experienced in urban defense tactics and were often deployed to Republic cities that were at risk of falling under separatist control such as when they were seen in Theed, the capital of Naboo. At number 2 is the 181st Armored Division, which was a heavily armored division of clone troopers and an important tactical level of military command and organization widespread throughout the galaxy. Same as the 87th Sentinel Corps, the 181st was most likely in plain white Phase 1 armor until it was replaced by the Phase 2 clone armor. Since then, they were recognized by their various combinations of green markings on their white armor and consisted of regular clone troopers, heavy clone troopers, clone sharpshooters, and clone trooper officers. The 181st Armored Division utilized infantry units, various types of all-terrain walker types such as ATRTs and ATTs, as well as HAVW A6 Juggernauts, otherwise known as clone turbo tanks, all of which allowed the 181st to conduct safe transportation in harsh environments and reinforce Republic units that were stuck in remote locations. They were most notably seen on the planet Kashyyyk as they reinforced the 41st Elite Corps. At number 3, we have the 212th Attack Battalion Recon Division, simply known as the 212th Recon Division. This division was originally seen in the Star Wars The Clone Wars TV series at the Second Battle of Geonosis, although it was never named until EA Star Wars Battlefront 2. This subunit of the 212th Attack Battalion consisted of Advanced Recon Force Troopers, simply known as ARF Troopers, and had a desert camo painted on their armor, as well as 212th Orange Markings. The 212th Recon Division specialized in covert operations behind enemy lines as most ARF Troopers did, although they were most notably seen in the front lines under the command of Jedi General Obi-Wan Kenobi and Commander Cody at the Second Battle of Geonosis, as well as at the Battle of Seleucami, although in regular Phase 1 armor. At number 4 is the 41st Ranger Platoon which consisted of 36 soldiers which were divided into 4 squads of 8 men. The number of soldiers in a platoon varied from 24 troopers up to 41 troopers. Let's just say that the numbers may differ from time to time depending on the losses. The 41st Ranger Platoon was a subunit of the 41st Elite Corps and wore forest camouflage and dark green color combinations on their armor just like the entirety of the 41st Elite Corps while they were on the planet Kashyyyk. The difference between them is that the 41st Ranger Platoon wore regular clone trooper armor with the force camouflage paint job while the rest of the 41st Elite Corps wore Phase 2 ARF Trooper armor, also known as the Clone Scout Trooper armor seen in Revenge of the Sith. Our best guess would be that the Ranger Platoon was inspired by LEGO's Kashyyyk clone troopers which were never before seen up until EA's Battlefront 2. Anyway, the Ranger Platoon wore both Phase 1 Force camo armor as well as Phase 2 and were sent on missions as elite strike teams. The 41st Ranger Platoon was often dispatched to sabotage enemy supply lines and vulnerable installations allowing them to draw attention away from Republic interests and were most likely somewhere off screen at the Battle of Kashyyyk in Revenge of the Sith. They were under the command of Commander Gree, Jedi General Yoda, and Jedi General Luminara Unduli. At number 5 we have the 41st Scout Battalion which was also a subunit of the 41st Elite Corps. These guys were first seen in Revenge of the Sith on Kashyyyk although were never named as the Scout Battalion up until EA Star Wars Battlefront 2. They were under the command of Jedi General Yoda, Jedi General Luminara Unduli, and Clone Commander Gree. The Scout Battalion was composed of 660 troopers who wore forest camouflaged Phase 2 ARF Trooper armor, aka Clone Scout Trooper armor. 
They were specialized in traversing jungle rainforest environments and utilized HAVW A6 juggernauts, all-terrain attack pods, infantry support platforms, bark speeders, and all-terrain recon transports. And finally at number 6, we'll be adding a clone battalion from the Jedi Fallen Order game simply to cover it here as well since there's only one new military unit in it. We have the 13th Battalion, also known as the Iron Battalion, which was led by Jedi General Jaro Tapal along with his apprentice, Cal Kestis. The clone troopers of the 13th were distinguished by their light yellow markings on their armor and were an infantry unit. They most notably fought at the Bracca campaign, and in 19 BBY when Order 66 was initiated, their inhibitor chips activated forcing them to turn on their Jedi friends which resulted in heavy losses to the 13th Battalion as well as the sacrifice of Jaro Tapal in order to ensure his Padawan's escape. Anyway guys, this is it on the video, and we hope you all enjoyed it and learned something new about the vast galaxy of Star Wars. If you enjoy our content, make sure to check out our second lore channel, The Crossroads Inn, and if you want to watch more videos like this one, the links to the playlist of other Star Wars stories and videos will be down below. Also, if you want to support this channel, hit that subscribe button for more videos like this one, and remember guys, God is awesome, may the Force be with you always, and we'll see you in another video. You rebel scum. This party's over.